It is for the Prime Minister to explain to the people of Scotland why he is denying Scotland the right to choose our own future. Why did democracy stop in the Prime Minister's world with the independence referendum in 2014? Uh And can I say to the Prime Minister, it is not a good look to see him playing with his phone rather than listening to the legitimate demands of the Scottish National Party. Of course, you know, the Prime Minister says some say something more interesting. Well, Prime Minister, this is about democracy. This is about the Scottish National Party that stood in the election on a manifesto about Scotland's right to choose. And it was about the Conservatives that said no to Indy Rev 2. And, Mr Speaker, what happened? Well, the Conservatives lost more than half their members of Parliament. Prime Minister, you got your answer from the people of Scotland. The SNP got 45% of the vote, a 20% difference to the government. We got 80% of the members of Parliament that sit on these benches. Sometime, someday, the Prime Minister is going to have to respect democracy. The Prime Minister can't and will not continue to say no. The Prime Minister says that looking at his phone is more interesting than hearing what Scotland needs. Doesn't that tell you everything? Doesn't that tell you everything about this Prime Minister and his view of Scotland? Indeed, indeed it does. (laughs) Mr Speaker, well, you know, there isn't really much that can be added to that because the image of the Prime Minister playing with his phone not listening to the Scottish National Party says it all.